Cairo, a city where ancient wonders meet modern challenges. With its pyramids towering over the most chaotic urban sprawls on Earth, Cairo is a city that never sleeps, well, partly because its residents are stuck in traffic. The streets are infamous for their relentless congestion, making even a short commute feel like a journey through history. But now, Egypt is betting $30 billion on a solution that could change everything the Cairo Metro expansion. It's Africa's largest infrastructure project, aiming to double the city's metro network slash commute times and unlock economic potential for millions. Yet, with monumental engineering challenges, environmental concerns, and an astronomical price tag, this project raises a simple but crucial question. Can it deliver? Let's dig into the details. The Cairo Metro isn't just a means of transport, it's a lifeline. When Line 1 opened in 1987, it was a revolutionary moment, not just for Cairo, but for Africa. Fast forward to today, and the system spans 77 kilometers across three lines, serving 3 million passengers daily. That sounds impressive until you remember that Cairo is home to over 20 million people. The expansion plan aims to bridge that gap. By 2030, the metro network will grow to over 120 kilometers with three new lines, lines 4, 5, and 6, designed to serve areas that have long been overlooked. Let's take line 4 as an example. Running 42 kilometers, it will connect Cairo's western suburbs to the pyramids of Giza and then across the Nile to link eastern Cairo. The line will feature state-of-the-art trains capable of carrying 40,000 passengers per hour, each equipped with air conditioning, modern ticketing systems, and real-time passenger updates. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a reimagining of urban mobility aiming to match the standards of the world's best metro systems. Cairo's traffic is legendary, for all the wrong reasons. With over 60% of daily trips relying on cars or microbuses, the city's road network is overwhelmed. Commuters routinely spend hours stuck in gridlock with traffic costing Egypt $8 billion annually in lost productivity. The metro expansion is designed to alleviate this pressure by offering a faster, more reliable alternative. For instance, Line 6, which will run parallel to the overcrowded Line 1, is expected to carry over 1 million passengers daily. Imagine that, one train line taking the equivalent of 500,000 cars off the road every day. But it's not just about traffic. This project will also connect Cairo's undeserved suburbs to the city's economic hubs. For residents of areas like Mbaba or Helwan, this means better access to jobs, schools, and healthcare, a lifeline for communities that have long been left behind. Building a metro in Cairo is no small feat. It's like trying to thread a needle through layers of history, dense urban development, and unforgiving geology. Perhaps the most technically demanding part of the project is tunneling beneath the Nile River, and it requires advanced technology and careful planning. Engineers are using tunnel boring machines, or TBMs, which are custom designed to handle Cairo's unique soil composition. These machines must cut through soft, waterlogged soil while simultaneously stabilizing the tunnel walls to prevent collapse. To give you a sense of scale, these TBMs are over 10 meters in diameter, making them about the size of a three-story building. They operate around the clock, grinding through rock and soil at a painstakingly slow pace, just a few meters per day. But their precision is critical. Even a minor error could lead to costly delays or structural damage. Additionally, tunneling under the Nile presents hydrological challenges. Engineers must ensure that the water flow and underground aquifers are not disrupted, which could lead to flooding in low-lying neighborhoods or even impact drinking water supplies. Beneath Cairo lies a maze of outdated infrastructure, including water pipes, electrical lines, and sewage systems. Many of these utilities aren't properly documented, making it a logistical nightmare for engineers. Crews must carefully map and relocate utilities to avoid catastrophic interruptions during construction. In one notable case during Line 3's construction, workers encountered an undocumented pipeline that required immediate rerouting, causing a month-long delay. But lessons from these challenges are being applied to Line 4 to minimize such setbacks. Cairo's climate adds another layer of complexity. Summer temperatures often soar above 40 degrees Celsius, which can cause machinery to overheat and make conditions unbearable for workers. To 
to mitigate this, crews work on shifts and cooling systems are installed in critical machinery. Earthquakes present another risk. While Cairo doesn't experience frequent large tremors, the potential for seismic activity means every station, tunnel, and bridge must be built with shock-absorbing materials and flexible joints to withstand potential quakes. These challenges aren't just logistical, they're financial. Every unexpected delay or design adjustment adds millions to the project's cost, testing the limits of Egypt's budget and patience. The economic and social benefits of the Cairo metro expansion are enormous. But let's start with the jobs. During construction alone, the project is creating tens of thousands of jobs, ranging from manual labor to highly skilled engineering roles. These aren't just temporary opportunities, they're helping to build a new generation of skilled workers in Egypt. Once operational, the expanded metro will provide affordable, reliable transport for millions. For low-income communities, this means better access to opportunities that were previously out of reach. For instance, residents in undeserved suburbs will now have direct connections to Cairo's economic hubs, educational institutions, and healthcare facilities. Tourism is another big winner. The new Line 4 will link directly to the Pyramids of Giza, making it easier than ever for visitors to explore Egypt's most iconic landmarks. This is expected to boost local businesses from hotels to restaurants to tour operators, injecting much-needed revenue into the economy. Additionally, the metro will save Egypt billions annually in reduced fuel consumption and productivity gains. A recent study estimated that just 15% reduction in traffic congestion could boost Egypt's GDP by 2%. With its potential to cut commute lines dramatically, the metro could be a game-changer for the nation's economy. Cairo's air quality ranks among the worst in the world, with smog visible across the city on most days. Cars and microbuses are the primary culprits, accounting for a significant portion of greenhouse gas emissions. The metro expansion offers a greener alternative. By shifting millions of commuters to electric trains, the project is expected to reduce emissions by 15%, equivalent to taking hundreds of thousands of cars off the road. But it doesn't stop there. The stations themselves are being designed with sustainability in mind, featuring solar panels, natural ventilation systems, and energy-efficient lighting. In a city struggling with rising temperatures and worsening air quality, these initiatives aren't just beneficial, they're essential. For all its promise, the Cairo metro expansion is not without controversy. Critics argue that the project's $30 billion price tag is excessive, especially in a country where millions still lack access to quality healthcare, education, and housing. There's also the issue of displacement. Entire neighborhoods are being reshaped to make way for new stations. While the government has promised fair compensation, many residents feel that the process lacks transparency, while some claiming the payouts are far below market value. Delays have further added to frustrations. While some lines are progressing on schedule, others have been held up by funding shortages and bureaucratic red tape. In one instance, construction on Line 6 was paused for nearly a year due to disagreements between contractors, raising questions about whether the project can meet its 2030 deadline. Lastly, ticket prices remain a contentious issue. While the metro is designed to be affordable, recent fare hikes have sparked public outcry, particularly among low-income residents who rely on the system daily. If the metro becomes too expensive, it risks alienating the very people it's meant to serve. The Cairo metro expansion is more than just a transportation project. It's a vision for the future of Africa's largest city. For millions of residents, it promises shorter commutes, cleaner air, and better access to opportunities. But with its massive price tag and monumental challenges, the project raises tough questions. Can Cairo overcome the engineering hurdles, political delays, and public skepticism to deliver on its promise? Well, what do you think? Is this $30 billion gamble worth the risk, or should Egypt focus on other priorities? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most ambitious mega-projects.